Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have some new Barbies and accessories from Barbie Life in the City, which is the first of our Barbie series to feature someone other than Barbie Roberts, AKA Malibu, on the cover of the packaging. Because this is, of course, Barbie Roberts, now known as Brooklyn. Now, these are two of our new sets that we have. I did see a couple more. There's a Brooklyn doll, there's a Malibu doll that both come in there, um, like the $8 ones. And they're just in their simple outfits. But as I already have a Brooklyn, I think I actually have several Brooklyn dolls already, and Malibu's out the wazoo, um, I opted to get this beauty instead. Now, I don't think Life in the City has premiered yet anywhere. I don't know if it's going to be a web series or if it's going to be a Netflix series or if it's going to be a movie. But this doll right here is gorgeous. Look at this face. It's a beautiful sculpt. The printing is spot on. The baby hairs, the little headband, the hairstyle. She's curvy. She's got a cool outfit. She's got some cool shoes. She's got a big backpack. She comes with a little weenie dog, a laptop, uh, a record, and like a record case, and some headphones. And she retails with all that for $15. So she looks pretty cool. Now here is the Brooklyn set that kind of corresponds to her. This outfit doesn't look great in person because she was there. I did see it. Uh, that's not one I'm willing to spend full price on because they kind of just phoned it in with that outfit. But hers, I was like, you know what? I love it. Here is the UPC for anybody interested in trying to find this. And I'm hoping that she's a named character in the show. Not always the case. Sometimes they give us like random background characters or they just throw like just characters that are in there for two seconds. That dolls for us. But just, my gosh, she's gorgeous. So I am going to rebody her once I'm finished reviewing her. Let me tilt you down while I unbox her. Free her from her plastic prison, as I like to say. things holding her in other than her little hair staples. Very cute, very cute. Got a little poof. I'm going to leave her headband in there. I'm just kind of going to hide that little bit right there. But she is gorgeous. Again, just our basic um, basic articulation for her, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, she is still a Playline doll. But, i get all this stuff out. And off of this box backer. Okay. So, here is her backpack. It's really big, and it does open, so you can actually put things in there. Uh, we'll see if her laptop fits in there. So, I think this is the first time we've seen this laptop in blue. It is one of the ones that, like, clips closed. So that's kind of fun. And yes, we can fit her laptop in there. It can actually fit all the way in there. Then you would just pull that down to take it out which is really cool. Uh, and then we've got our cool little um, 
record slip here. And I think this is the first time we've had an actual like vinyl that's uh, been included in one of the sets. At least I don't think there were any of these molds in the um, in the DJ ones but it does just fit in that slip and then we can pop that in there too kind of fun and we've got our headphones which are really nothing crazy special we've seen this headphone mold in like five colors already so I'm, I, wouldn't buy, I wouldn't bother styling it on at all but you can just kind of pop it in there and then her little friend I have not seen this mold before it's pretty realistic and proportion wise they did give it cartoony eyes which is fine but I love that it's a different dog mold because we do not get a ton of dog molds when it comes to um, Barbies. We usually get labs and then like chihuahuas, but look at these cute little boots. I think these are new molds. I'm not sure, but I don't remember seeing them in any fashion packs or on any dolls in any other colors. But. It's very cute. And we've got this bracelet a couple of different ways, though. And then at least her shirt doesn't say, uh, like, music band or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's very cute. Like, I'm glad I picked her up. And she does have a soft head already. So what I'm going to do is push down and try to take this off without breaking the joint there we go just like that now when you remove heads it's a good it's a good um, it's a good reminder to always double check that the head is soft already and by soft I mean you can squeeze it just with your fingers but I do have a made to move body ready to go for her she is a pretty close match to the um, Barbie Looks Curvy that is a uh, the Afro one. If you're wondering about the newest one which is available, she's not really a match to her. So. This neck joint has been really loose, so I'm actually going to grab a rubber band if I can find one and pop it on there. I usually have some rubber bands around here, and the first time I want one is the time I will not be able to find one. Just look. Oh no, here we go. Okay, so just a regular little like doll rubber band. And we're just gonna try to it's not really as thick as I wanted it to be. this one what I need is a bigger rubber band but you know what I can do that at a later date because it's always easier to take off heads that are a little loose but very cute and again just push down and then pop up as you can see her head is a little loose nothing that a little bit of the tape wouldn't fix, or not tape, uh, rubber band. As you can see, it's not a perfect match, 
but it's as close as we're gonna get in a curvy made to move which I did want to keep her curvy because I want to keep her in her outfit in case she is a named character so we're going to pop her in there and onto these Bada bing. Pop her shoes on. And then just her little shirt. I do love being able to keep dolls in their original outfits when they're not tacky or overdone. because then you can easily tell who the doll was supposed to be and characters tend to stay in their outfits for a little bit longer. And we can make her hold the dog now. Bada boom. <laughs> She's got her backpack chilling on the quad. And there's also her, whatchamacallit, her bracelet right here that I meant to put back on. There we go. Bada boom. So yeah, she's very cute. So again, not a perfect match. I'm trying to think if there is a perfect match to the skin tone right now because she's a little bit of an odd tone. I think she's on track with the blue made to move right now. No, she's a little lighter than that. Let me look at the yellow. No, not that one. Not the soccer, right? No, not the soccer. Hmm. And definitely not the BMR. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so not a perfect match for any of them right now. She's in that weird spot where they may have just had a specific color run for her, which is fine. Like I said, it's not a super noticeable um, change in skin tone but it is slightly off. So, just something to think about for that. But now that we have her dressed, let's take a look at our second thing that we picked up today, which is our fashion pack. Now, this is like the picnic accessory pack it's very cute. It's got a hat. It's got a dress. It's got a basket that's a new mold. It's got a picnic blanket. It's got a couple of things of food. It's got a camera. It's got some heart sunglasses. And it's got some boots. So it's got a full outfit plus accessories. This did retail for $10. Here is the UPC in case you want it. And they do have Brooklyn modeling this. Um, in the uh, artwork here on the back, as you can see. But I don't have Brooklyn out right this minute. So I'm going to put one of our, uh, one of our different dolls in there. We're going to put our Heidi in there because I don't love Heidi's outfit. <laughs> and this is a uh, BMR model um, 11. FYI for anybody wondering. Or not 
not BMR, Barbie looks. Sorry about that. Uh, so we are going to pop her out of this jumpsuit. She does have her knees taped to avoid breakage in the factory. Very cute. Uh, but let's take a look at these a little closer. I don't love that they gave us a really, really big box for this. Like, I get that it's a tie-in for the show, which is usually how they give us things like this. But it's just too much box for not enough stuff. So here is our sunglasses. Thankfully, they're transparent, so I would actually style these if I felt the need. Um, but we've got a couple of staples holding her in. So this is kind of a basic dress, like there's nothing really much going on here. Um, it's giving me pretty much 90s vibes, and by that I mean 90s Barbie. Like I think I remember having one of these as a kid, this style of dress, with just the uh, ruffle on the bottom being the only kind of exciting thing about it. But it's cute. It's a decent little outfit. And then we've got our little boots. Boots lay the house down, honey. Kind of fun. Those are in like a deep rose gold, which is kind of an odd choice. Here is the picnic basket or beach bag. It's very cute. It's almost the same size as that backpack, which is kind of funny to me. Of course, the blanket is held in, but that means we have it spread out like that. We have our little hat. which can actually fit over her hair, which I actually kind of like it like that. It adds a little more drama to her. She's giving Western wear now. And then we've got our little camera, some hot dog with the little attachment, a pizza with the attachment also, and a pretzel that actually has a finger hold which is kind of cool. So that's what you get for the $10, which isn't horrible, but it just kind of seems a little off. I think I would have preferred a, like a jacket or a shrug or something. Like a denim jacket would have looked really cute with this look. Um, I will probably grab one of my denim jackets out of my Barbie bags later on, unless I have one ready at right hand. I don't think I do. But, yeah, no, I don't see one. But, I think a denim jacket would look really cute with this look. But, we have our cute little bag. So that's kind of the theme of Life in the City is cute bags that we don't get all the time. I do think we got this one in one of the travel Barbies, but it was in pink, not the blue. Which blue makes it a lot more versatile because I could use it for Ken dolls, I could use it, you know, just for anybody, really. You can use pink, but you know, sometimes pink clashes with the outfits. Blue's less likely to clash with outfits, I feel. Um, just because usually someone's wearing jeans or some kind of denim, so you can kind of tie it into that. But these are very cute. 
I like the look for her. I don't know if I would buy duplicates of this fashion pack though, just because I don't know if it has enough versatility. I like the hat. We don't get hats very often for Barbie. We get a lot of visors. Like, girl is worried about the sun, but not about her scalp. So, um, I do appreciate that the sunglasses are actually transparent. I do appreciate that the food all has attachment points, which is good. One of these days I'd love to see them do a hot dog and pizza molds that are separate from the plate, but can also like snap onto the plate. But, you know, we take what we can get, right? But obviously she is the star of the show. I love her face, I love her outfit, I love her dog. Her shoes I am intrigued by. And all of her accessories, except for the headphones, slayed. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions about these, uh, let me know in the comments. I try to answer stuff. I'm backlogged with work right now. But, yeah. These are cute, and they are starting to show up in stores. I did pick up both of these at Target today. Um, the new... Barbie looks are available on Amazon and on MattelCreations.com. Unfortunately, this made-to-move body does appear to be sold out again, but fingers crossed Mattel does a restock because I realized I only have three of her on Curvy, which kind of is not enough for me. Uh, so if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments as always. And if you liked it, leave me a like. As always, follow along for some more fun unboxings, because as more stuff comes out, I'll show you guys more. Bye, y'all. Be good.